Hey guys! So today I'm going to show you how to get this look using nothing but drugstore products and brushes and everything is totally affordable and awesome and I love these products. So, by the way, yeah, you're seeing that right. Half my head is shaved. And there's a flower. You see? My friend at school did the flower for me and my husband shaved half my head. And it wasn't a joke, it wasn't a dare, I just decided to do it. Because why not? Like, why not? So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Alright, so we're going to start with the face today. Oh, lordy. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my Nivea Men's Post Shape Balm, because this is my favorite primer. And just put it all over my face. This is so hydrating and satisfying. And then I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, because this is one of my favorites. And I just wanted to use it today. And today I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild like Flat Top Kabuki. And just buff that all over the face. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. And we're going to erase those dark circles that I developed through the week for getting up at like 4 a.m. Mama needs some help today. That's that's for sure. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 125 and set the under eyes. So now that that is done, I'm going to move into the rest of my complexion. And I think we'll use another Wet n Wild brush. So I'm just going to use this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder, and this one is in Fiji, and it's the matte one. And I do actually, like, really like this product. It's really nice, and I can just gently bronze with that. So you want to start your bronzer right kind of at your ear, like going up into your hairline. So just bronzing up the normal places so that my face doesn't have that flat appearance. So then I'm going to use the blush that's out of this palette and just kind of lightly get a little bit on the brush and then just blush it into the cheeks. So now that we have a nice contour and blushy going, I'm going to go in and highlight. I'm going to use, basically this is, I mean... Okay, so anything like shimmery is an illuminator, but, you know, like, we all just call them highlights. So I'm going to go in with this highlight, and this is Moonlight Pearls by e.l.f. And this is just a really, really beautiful highlight shade by e.l.f. And I'm just going to take this e.l.f. small tapered brush, get a little bit on there, and just sweep this at the tops of my cheekbones. Alright, so now it's time for eyes, the fun part. Okay, so today I'm going to go in first with Tough as Taupe from the Maybelline Color Tattoos. And I am going to just take a little bit of this on my finger, like this, and just dab it on my eyelid trying not to make a harsh line, which doing a kind of a downward sweeping motion when you're applying this helps prevent getting that harsh line. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Lab Squared brush, and it is the Just Blending In brush, and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette today, and I'm gonna use this kind of pinky bronze shade right here. Yes, it's shiny, but we're going to throw that in the crease anyway. So we're just going to work that into the crease. So next what we're going to do is we are going to take this one that says crease, and we're going to take a smaller crease brush. We'll use the Lab Squared Genius Crease Brush, which is a tinier tapered one. And we're just going to put a little teeny bit of that we're going to put just a little teeny bit of that on the tip and put that directly in the crease just to deepen things up a bit. All right, then we're going to take that original brush and just blend things out a little bit more. Okay, so we are going in with this definer color 
and we are putting this all over the lid. This is the star of this look today because I think this color is absolutely beautiful. So we're just going to go in and literally sweep this all over the lid. So in order to make this not have such a harsh line, we're going to go back in with this kind of bronzy color. And we are just going to go right along that area with the smaller crease brush and just diffuse that line. And then just to make that pop a little bit more, we're going back in with that definer shade and just kind of putting it on the lower half of the lid so we don't make another very hard crease line. And there you go. With this same shader brush, and we're going to take that first color that we used and sweep it underneath the lash line. And we're going to go in with that second shade. You see a trend here? Then we're going to take that definer color and just put it on the outer half. And then you can just take your fluffy brush and just kind of smoke it out, blend it a bit. Next I'm going to go in with eyeliner. This is the Physician's Formula, let's see here, Eye Booster. And it's pretty much just like a skinny little pen type form, if you can see that. And we're just going to put a nice thin liner on. Nothing crazy today, just a nice thin line. So now we'll just go through and put on mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And lastly, we need to do lips. So because we went a bit dramatic on the eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Daringly Nude as my lipstick. It's just a really nice nude color. Thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!